Hello and welcome. I'm Loke with you or you and this is Stellaris 1.2.1 and this time around we're going to be playing with mods once again. The biggest and most important mod that we have right now is the Fight for the Universe Infinite Legacy mod and you can kind of see that up here. It just it kind of, you know, it adds something to the main top. You just click on it, it takes you right to the Steam Workshop with the uh, overhaul statistics and information. Now, it says right here, this mod is incompatible with pretty much every other mod. So unless mod is listed in the compatible and suggested mods list, it is incompatible by default. So keep that in mind if you plan on using this mod yourself. Now, it says these are the compatible mods. However, I am running with a plethora of other mods just to see what works and what doesn't. If they don't, it should not break the game uh, because this, the way I understand the way this one works is it overwrites things on its own and then if it something else is supposed to work, it overwrites it. That's just the way it works. So there's a bunch of new features here in this guy here. We got uh, variance original traits, uh, legacy traits, acquire FTL methods, uh, system spawns of different types of wrecked ring worlds, unique tile backgrounds, uh, improved GUI, uh, egalitarian, hierarchical instead of collective and individualist, more grand and epic space battles, and improvement, improved fleet formations, which is fantastic. Uh, reworked terraforming, empire-wide food export, reworked resources, deposits, and deposit seeds during galaxy generation, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to. Uh, strategic resources and partial rebalance of relevant structures. New strategic resources enrichment feature with different consequences. Dual language localization for English and Russian. And he does plan on, or I don't know if it's a he, but they plan on adding a bunch more uh, things in the time to come. Now if I come in here and I go, let's see, workshop. And I click to subscribed items. You can see the ones that we are using. We are using Colonize Unlimited, uh, Expanded Colors. Where is it? As you can see, Fight for the Universe is right here. Uh, these are all the ones that I'm subscribed to. However, there's a bunch of them that are not actually uh, working right now because they're not valid for this current uh, build of the game. But here you go, you can see them. That way you can look for them yourselves to try and play around with what I'm running if you decide to do so. But right now I have turned on uh, Fight for the Universe, Infinite Legacy, Colonize Unlimited, Expanded Colors, Extended Traits, Fallen Empire Ships and Stations, Fight for, uh, blah, 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 Increased resource, Research Window Size, More Spaceport Modules, Planet Cap re Raised, Range Finder, Reduced Aura Graphics, and Beautiful Battles. A lot of those are just kind of generic performance improvements uh, with exception to planet cap raised, range finder, uh, spaceport modules, and then the fallen empire and ships and stations. So let's see what we can do here. Let's do a new game and just like normal, we are going to uh, create a new race. Create a new race. Let's see. This time, let's... See. Oh, we can do Fallen's. Except we can't. That's probably because Fallen... Uh, uh, Infinite Legacy is probably overriding that. So that's fine. Uh, we got the Fungoids, Mollusks, um, Anthropods, Anthropoids. Uh, let's do a reptilian this time i don't i can't remember actually i think we did do a reptilian before uh let's see back they were fungoids they were humanoid um doo -doo -doo -doo. they're mammalian fungoid anthropod avian mammalian okay so we have not done a reptile yeah let's do a reptile this time uh, dude, reptilian. Um, let's go with these guys. I kind of like the look of that face. Uh, next, uh, let's see. 
Straxian. Actually, so it's going to be Strax. Straxian. Straxion. I think that's how it worked. I'm not a grammar pro. I can read a sentence and say, hey, that looks wrong. Fix it here. But I can't tell you what's an adjective, agnem, pronoun, blah, 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 any of that. I can't tell. Um, let's, uh, let's go reptilian three. Um, ooh, sorry, but my mic. So we've got eight trait points. Let's see. Legacy ring world. Ooh, really? Climate preferences determined by the genetic level by eons of evolution or skillful manipulation. Fallen ring world habitability plus 100%. Ah, I like that. Doesn't cost a dang thing. That's fabulous. Fabulous, darling. All right. Um, let's give them extremely adaptive. Wow, that takes five points. Uh, let's give them slow breeders, maybe? Do we have anything that's negative two? Negative three, very weak, weak. Uh, Craven, which army morale and army damage, negative 20% each. Um, not adaptive, that would kind of... Yeah, that would neutralize that, so we can't pick that. Uh, virtualist, monthly income, influence, negative one, no. Conservationists, uh, clear blocker tile cost, clear blocker time. <clears throat> um, you know what, I think we're, we're going to take Craven. So that does army damage and morale down. Strong would neutralize the damage. Let's do quick learners. And be done with it. All right, we're gonna pick, oh, there, yeah, there's no difference. All right, let's randomize the name. Rapidef, I like that. Color variants. All oh, right, nice. Some color good. Let's go with black. We want to look mean and nasty. We are a war style race. There we go. I like it. Next, uh, we are reptilian, so let's go with a desert world. Straxia. Star. Relax. I like that. Uh, desert preference. There we go. So desert habitability, 80%. Arid habitability, 60%. Tropical, 60 Continental, 40 Tundra, 40 Not too shabby. And we're going to go with Reptilian. We want to keep things to a theme, after all. Okay, so what are we going to do with here? We are going to be a war-style race. We're going to be fanatic militarists. And then... Fundamental materialist. Yes. So we're going to be a science heavy. Uh, actually, you know what? No. And yeah, we can only do one of those. There we go. We're going to be a money-grubbing military, and we're going to go with a military junta. Ship upkeep cost down, ship upgrade cost down, admiral skills plus one. The Strax. Um... Let's see. What's a good name for a militaristically economic-based empire? 
How about Federation? SF. That's probably wrong, but like I said, I don't care. Okay, logo. Domination, ornate, paradox. Pirate, ooh, yes. Let's go with a pirate logo. Um, I like that. Let's go with something we haven't used before. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Primary color, let's go with uh, black. Secondary color, let's go with a nice dark gray. Actually, we don't want we want the primary color to be something we can see on the map. All right, secondary color, let's make that the reptiles, so let's go with a nice, dark, subdued green. That's not really subdued, but it's nice and dark. And we're going to go with... We're going to start out with energy weapons. And we're going to go with wormhole travel again, like we did last time, because I said I was going to. Now... With the uh, Infinite Legacy mod, you can research the warp travel and hyperspace lanes at some point. Uh, so we're going to start with warm heart travel, but we're going to work towards warp travel. Oh, look at that. We got the Fallen Empire ships. And I can't select them properly. But we'll, we'll use it. We'll try it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now let's save them and uh, click done. Now we're going to go with a large this time. Last time we went with a, was a medium or a small. Uh, AI empires, let's go with, let's go with 15, advanced starts, zero. Uh, AI aggression, normal, difficulty, normal. Any method and Iron Man off. There we go. And then galaxy style. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just stick with elliptical. I don't care for these spirals because uh, as they come out, you have to find a way across. Actually, you know what? Yeah, for us, that's not going to be a big problem because we have warp. We, we're using wormholes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with a forearm spiral, eight hundred stars, and let's see what happens. All right, we've read this before. If you want to hear me read this out, just go back to one of the uh, other episodes that are or other seasons of episode one, and you can figure that out. Are we gonna go with solar panels right off the bat? We're gonna go with colony ships, and we're going to go with. Uh, ion thrusters. That works. All right, now we should have a science ship. Yep, yeah, we have a a guy there. All right, Void Husk. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, it worked. Check that out. Yeah, buddy. Fallen Empire ships. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. There's the space station. Not bad. I actually, I really like the look of the Fallen Empire stuff. I really do. All right, now we can not build anything there first. So what we're going to do is we're going to build us a bunch of Corvettes immediately. Uh, we're going to take a different tactical here. Uh, we're not going to send our sh our uh, attack ships out past uh, these first three systems right now. I mean, we can't, but. Uh, we wouldn't anyway at this point. Um, we need to come into our planet. Do, 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 do. do Straxia. Uh, and come to the surface. Oh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. Wait, we can't do anything just yet. Yeah, because we spent all of our monies. We can't build anything. All right, that's fine. I would rather build the ships immediately than do anything else. All right, so there's our, our four-arm spiral galaxy. It looks more like a 
No, it's a forearm. My bad. It just this little these little spaces right here are just kind of throwing me off. Uh, so what I was saying about a forearm spiral galaxy, you've got this huge space here uh, that makes it really hard to jump across, uh, especially if you're using warp or um, hyperlanes, because there's maybe like I could see there being a hyperlane from here to here. Uh, but like this normal space in between here, there's not going to be one. There's probably one here. Uh, there's probably one in here. There's probably one right about here. Maybe one here. Probably one here. So they're, they're few and far between for the hyperlanes. Uh, hyperlanes is the hardest one to play on a spiral armed galaxy, I would say anyway. Uh, simply because of that fact, you, you can't just go from say, oh well, you're 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 here and I'm fighting you, so I'm just gonna just boop drop over. No, you have to go all the way around to get to him right here. Uh, so warp drives or wormholes are the preference to go on a spiral arm galaxy because you ha you can just go straight across if you have a high enough technological level. Fantastic. Um, let's see, can we do anything with our construction ship? No. Uh, we want to survey the system. And there we go. Alright, let's let time fly. And we're going to let it fly quickly. Alright, we can get out to these because the orange ring is our, our wormhole range and the green ring is our sensor range. We just want to stay inside of our sensors right now because we don't need to go out past that any further. Alright, let's take these guys and put them there. Construction complete. Uh, Alright, we completed all of our Corvettes. Let's group them all up. That should help out significantly. And let's build us a couple of more. <laughs> one. Okay, we'll, we'll build one more. That's fine. Uh, construction ship. Oh my gosh. We are loaded with minerals. We, we, we don't even have the minerals to build a mining station. Because we just built another ship. Construction complete. Uh, Alright, we gained a level. Fantastic. Alright, so we have an attack of 123 at the moment. Gonna move you there. System survey complete. All right, let's tell him to go survey the, war the black hole, the red giant, and the yellow giant. Probably actually a yellow dwarf would be my guess, but who knows? Who knows? We got 60. We got two more months before we can build our first mining station. All right, come on. We're lacking Five minerals. And there we go. System survey complete. Alright, what do we got in the wormhole system? Oh, I like how that moved over. That was nice. Okay, we got some society research and some engineering. Very nice. Not bad. Oh yeah, I love how it just moves over instead of doing that jump cut thing. Alright, the discovery of alien life. The Lord... Kuxel has made a startling find on Nahol 1. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Strelex, uh, Struxia. The amazing discovery also signed, silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien cultures found on Nahol are sentient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter these beings. 60 society research. Fantastic. So this is a desert world, so that's preferable for us. All right, this, the Strax Federation is abuzz with news of alien organisms discovered by the Lord Kuzik, or Kuzil some time ago. While, from the, uh, while far from intelligent, there is life out there. All right, fantastic. We found some alien life. Who would have known? And don't say you did, because that would be lying. System survey complete. 
Situation log updated. All right, we found the alpha aliens. Fantastic. Alien ships. So, what are they? They're actual... Uh... Actual, uh... Fellow alien race. Ah, oh, bloody heck. Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. Those are the space cows. My bad. Those are the space cows. Keep the game unpaused. All right, we can build us another mining station. Which is fantastic. We're already at plus 10 minerals. And when we can build another one, we will. Get those pumped out as quickly as possible. Oh, and he completed it before System I could survey queue up another one. Actually, you're gonna you're gonna build the this one next. There we go. All right, system surveys are complete. We have those three done. All right, let's move out to the next little consent bit and discover what's in the rest of our little corner of the galaxy here. I got the hiccups. Ugh, annoying. Uh, why are we down to 11? Oh, ship maintenance, that's why. Derp a derp! I should have known better than that, right? I've played enough of this game by now to know that stuff. All right, we are now in the hole with money. So we need to find some energy. And we got some energy in Sazer here. We need 200 minerals and 30 influence, and we can build an outpost there. Uh, let's see, how's our science doing, right? Uh, we're 16 months away from a colony ship, 10 months away from ion thrusters, and a month away from solar panels. All right, so let's come and highlight that. Ugh. And the moment we can get solar panels, we're going to pop Research that. Complete. All right, new research. Research speed, 5%. Fantastic. All right, we need 75. We got one month before we can do that. There we go. That will offset our negative balance, which means we can come back in here. Tell you to go. Ah, beta aliens. Nice. Fantastic. All right. Let's... Uh... We're not going to research the beta aliens just yet. I'm going to wait till there's like three or four of them. Okay, maybe five or six. Hostile fleet engaged. Ooh, hostile fleets. What do we got? We've got crystalline entities. We should be able to actually kill them. We'll lose a couple Corvettes probably, but we should be able to kill them. Construction complete. Uh, doesn't look like we're actually going to lose any. Situation log update. No! Fantastic! We didn't lose a single ship. That's very nice. Alright. Killed our first alien Research enemies. Complete. Research complete. Ion thrusters. Fantastic. Alright, let's, uh, let's focus on trying to bump up to destroyers as fast as possible. Now we need to come in here and delete all of these auto designs because they are annoying and they get in the way. All right. I said delete. All right, fine. Corvette. Delete. That is nice. I love the look of these ships. All right. We want to go with three smalls. We're gonna go with red lasers, three of them. And we're gonna go with fusion reactors across the board because we don't have anything else. We have tech two thrusters, which is fantastic. All right, now let's call this the, um, oh, what do we wanna call this? How about the EpiBot? EpiBot. Cause it just kinda, it kinda looks like a robot. You know, just like a single-eyed, space-going robot is what that looks like. 
All right, let's save that. Now you boys, when you're all said and done, go back and refit. All right. We can build our outpost here now. Fantastic. And then we can build one. Oh, we don't quite have the minerals for that. So close, we're at 50. And our, our ships are already being upgraded, which is fantastic. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. There we go. So we, we lost all our minerals in the process of upgrading. Uh, they're a little bit faster, but they're not any stronger. Oh, I missed that. What did we research? Ah, oh, the colony ship. Right. Fantastic. All right, let's do naval capacity. And let's design a colony ship. Delete you. We want to have control of our colony ship. All right. Oh, that is a cool-looking ship. That is awesome. The Expander expands our empire. Actually, we only need one. Very nice. All right. We can't build one yet because we need, like, what, 350, I think it is? Yeah, 350. So it's going to be a little while before we can get one of those. However, once we build this, it will come in just that much faster. Eight, four, we're down missing five. There we go. Build that. And then we will save up for an expander. And we'll start exploring. Hardcore. All right, so we need to get our science ship and start surveying some systems. Because we have one world that we can inhabit that we know of. We need to see if we have more. So we've got this desert planet right here. Not too shabby. It's not great, but it's not it's definitely not bad either. So take it for what it's worth, right? Alright. Ooh, nice. We got a fifteen size desert world versus that one's a thirteen. I keep passing Research complete. All right, what do we get? Ah, research speed 5%. Let's go with assist research immediately. System survey complete. All right, what do we got in this system? Lots of minerals. Six minerals and seven engineering research. Not too shabby. So far, our corner of the galaxy is shaping up to be fairly nice. Uh, zero percent chance of fail? Yeah. Let's research that. Why not? Get us some bonus bonuses. Maybe start one of the uh, elite quests. We've recovered artifacts from an ancient civilization on... 2 ULCJ1, the first. They must have been active in this region of space approximately 12 million years ago, judging by the age of the artifacts. From what they have been able to piece together, our scientists theorize that these aliens, who called themselves the Voltam Star Assembly, were worm like annelids, roughly 3 to 4 meters in length, that communicated with each other primarily through vibrations carried along the segmented bodies. That's that yeah, that's interesting. Situation log updated. So that started the precursor's mission. We have to find six of their artifacts. Ah, oh, how about a world survey? Um Yeah. 
Situation Let's do it. Log updated. I mean, we've already researched, we've already found two worlds, so that's two out of the way. We just have to find six more, which really shouldn't be that hard to do. All right, we got 350. Colony ship. Dun, dun, dun. System survey complete. All right, we got eight minerals and three society research in that system. That's a lot. Cruising along nicely. Very nicely. Now let's hope for a nice long distance away from a fallen empire. Like a fallen empire here, and a fallen empire here, and a fallen empire here would be splendid. Wait. Huh. How do I know about some space cows over here? Seriously. That, that's kind of cheaty hacks, if you ask me. System survey complete. All right. Eight minerals, one physics, and one engineering. Okay, nice. Okay, alien vessel, alien space station. Complete. That looks like um, the Anomaly drone fail. miners. 15% uh, fail. No, we're going to leave that alone for now. All right, colony ship. You, sir, are going to go here. There we go. And we're going to put this... Let's put it right there. Armala Prime. Sure. Why not? We are losing six a month at the moment because the colony ship costs eight. Now. Research complete. Ooh, research complete. Really? Nice. All right. Uh, Sentinel deflectors. Deflectors are very important. Very important indeed. All right, we're going to take our construction ship over here. And we're going to build a wormhole station right there. All right, the first co Strax colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down on the outskirts of a large oasis on Armada Prime. Situated at the foot of a large mountain, this ideal location provides shelter from the wind and has easy access to water. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement and it is and its reactor core is the process is in the process being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source hundreds of small te tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the formal station starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers the first track city on an alien world a great day for the strax federation it's 60 engineering research for free. For free. Absolutely free. All right, now we need to build some stuff here. We've got all these guys doing research, but they're not actually doing research. Uh, we're getting one food. Uh, this guy is doing nothing at all. Let's give him a power plant. We're gonna save this one because I know there's a, a building eventually that does uh, minerals and food. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that spot for that. And you, sir, we will give you a hydroponic farm. Wait a second. What are we doing here? Ah, requires one, and we're in the hole already. So that that's all it's telling me. It's telling me I'm gonna go bankrupt if I build that. System survey complete. Yeah, not so much. All right, let's bring our Void Stalkers out here. Simply because we're building a wormhole station. We're going to be able to go up. But however, if you look at the time, you will realize that we are overclock. We are overclocked and underpaid. So with that said, I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to hit that like button down below. I really enjoy seeing them. Also, leave a comment down below. What do you think of our racial build this time? Uh, especially versus the last time and maybe even the previous ones. Uh, would you have made a different decision? Would you have gone with a uh, different 
uh, primary weapon, you know, I, I enjoy hearing your guys' input. Until next time, I'm Loco, you are you, and this has been Stellaris 1.2.1. Y'all have a wonderful day. Peace out.